Well, we haven't been to Ibiza before, and it's a beautiful place. When I go back home and I tell everybody, oh, I'm going to Ibiza, and everybody's like, oh, you're kidding, you know? So worldwide, everyone's jealous of us being here in July. The first ever visit for the 52 Super Series here to Ibiza ends with a victory then for uh, Quantum Racing, the team which won last month in Barcelona, wins again in Ibiza. Very, very different conditions here, much lighter, probably wind speeds were uh, averaging less than 10 knots uh, through the whole week. We had uh, two races in the first day, we had one day when we actually only managed to get one very light wind race in. Uh, we had a very nice coastal race, 33 miles up to the island of Tagomago, up on the uh, northeast corner of Ibiza. A long uh, upwind leg and a long downwind leg. It was Gladiator which won the, uh, the coastal race. We finished up then with two nice windward leewards in uh, six to eight knots of breeze. And uh, say it was uh, Quantum Racing which managed to do the business, winning by uh, seven points in the end from my gladiators. It's been a great regatta, first time here in Ibiza, it's a standalone event for the 52 Super Series, that's to say that it's not uh, part of a major uh, other regatta, not hosted by a club per se, and it's been a fantastic venue, and I'm sure we're going to see you back here in Ibiza in the future for the 52 Super Series. We had eight boats here, it's been fantastic, and the fleet is very close. It's not that you have a few boats that are the standout boats and a few that are behind, it's uh, everyone can be first across the line. At the end, we had a couple of good days, a couple of days which we were more struggling, but overall it has been a great experience for us. We learned a lot from our racing. But before the last race, we were uh, four boats in four points, I think, so it's really close racing. I'd love to come back here, it's great, you know? Breakfast at the hotel, work, back to dinner at the hotel. <laughs>